Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here exploring Bike Place Market in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> oh. here to one of the most iconic locations here in Seattle. This is, I think I read, the most photographed location in this city. This place is famous for offering local and seasonal produce, meats and seafood, bakeries, restaurants, and local artisans. The goal for today's video is very simple. Explore the market and its surrounding areas. See what we can find to do, see, and eat. And overall, just enjoy this experience with you guys. So if you guys are interested, Come with me. The very first thing that you see when you come into the market is a pig that greets you at the entrance. The name of the pig is Rachel and I want to tell you a little bit of the origin of this pig. Let me show it to you first. The pig is right there and it's really popular among tourists who choose to take pictures next to it. At the very top it has a coin slot and this is because this is used for donations for Pike's Place Market. It is also a tradition to pet the pig for good luck. We have to do it just in case. You will also see the pig's footsteps all around Pike's Place. These are donations from people. As you can see, there's names of people written on like the little footsteps and they take you to very interesting locations in this area. It's about to be 11 here. We came at this specific time of day just because there is a cross market that opens at around 10.30 and we really wanted to check this out. So let's say bye to Rachel and get going. The cross market is towards the right side as soon as you enter into the building. And here there's a lot of people who bring their art and display it for people and also sell a lot of it. This place provides the opportunity for visitors to discover unique, local, and handcrafted items including apparel, glass and metal sculpture, painting, jewelry, and many, many other things. One of my favorite things to do when I come to places like this is try the free samples. Before we continue, we're gonna grab a little snack. They have a lot of bagels, and they also have bagel dogs. Six dollars and 61 cents. Boom, check it out, you guys. This looks so amazing. Jewelry is also a big thing here, as you can see. We've seen a lot of these little shops all throughout this area. This is another apparel stuff. A lot of shirts with like Seattle or the Skyline in their logos. There's a lot of traffic, so you have to move fast and also swiftly through the crowd. Behind me, more earrings and jewelry. And over on this side, you'll see a lot of flowers. Good, thank you. Another sample, guys. Mm. And on this side, you'll see a lot of earrings. And it's really cool. I think it adds to it that they're all made by the owner. Is that correct? Yeah. That is really awesome. Good. Flowers, as far as the eye can see. More shirts here. I feel like Winnie the Pooh. That's really good. This place sells not only honey, but also like natural made soap and shampoo. Really cool. You'll see a lot of sculptures. There's a lot here made out of wood. More jewelry on this side. Over here you can also find like musical instruments. And some of these are like coated in like snake skin or something. Check this one out. Really well done. My respects to the crafter. And we're making it to the outside here. I think that's it for the crafts market right here. A few more shops, metal work as well as apparel. So I think that's it. We're gonna go ahead and go back inside and check out the different floors. There are still a lot of things to see you guys. We still have to cross the street as well as we still need to go back inside and check out the lower level as well as the second floor. I think the name of the game in here is variety including notebooks as you saw, flowers, sculptures and whatnot. So there's anything and everything for anyone that comes here.
Check this out you guys. They have everything here. Everything from swordfish, scallops, crabs, lobster. They also sell rubs, tools, and cookbooks to make the best out of whatever you decide to buy. One really cool tradition they have is the famous fish toss. They throw the, the fish or crabs or whatever the customer orders to the people working at the counter for them to weight it and package it for the customer. It's definitely a great place to even just stop by and check this out. Our next step is here, the meat market. Just like the fish market in this place, they have a lot of variety in what they sell. This is a meat lover's paradise. If you're looking for specialty meats, house-made marinades and rubs, and anything meat related, you came to the right place. I wonder if they have like Beyond or Impossible Meat or whatever it's called for the vegetarian people. <laughs> Coming up to the next spot, you guys, we just made it here to the creamery. This is kind of like the same concept as the last two places that we visited. They have a lot of different things here. This place is perfect for those looking for farm fresh eggs, locally made butter, and fresh milk and cheeses. If you're like a super fan of cows or anything dairy, this is the place for you. It is interesting to say the least. They have everything cow themed. It would be sort of like a funny souvenir, I guess. Anyways, you guys, moving on to the next location. One of the last shops that we're gonna take a look at are the produce shops. There's a lot of these scattered throughout the market and we can't forget about those. Can I get a free sample? Thank you so much. Uh, they sell items by the pound, so you can get to try a lot of different things. You can also get uh, samples. You know I'm all about these. These are good since they sell things like individually or by the pound, so you can get to try a lot of different things. These bloat oranges look delicious. Check it out. Everything looks so colorful and delicious. Check it out. Trying a little bit of these pomegranates. They look so good. All right, you guys, we are done for this section. The next thing we're gonna do has to be my favorite. We're gonna decide on where to eat and also something to snack on after that. There are so many options, it's ridiculous. From Mexican food, seafood of course, to Italian, to Asian, to many other different kinds. The plan for right now is to find something to eat. We'll catch you guys whenever we decide on something. We ended up choosing this place, it's called Market Grill. It has really great reviews and the food looks amazing. This place has been featured in multiple TV shows as well as national and international rankings. It should be good. Check it out you guys, this is the pran sandwich and this one over here. This is the salmon. Let's begin. That was really good, guys. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and grab dessert, but first, we wanted to check this place out. This is the gum wall. Uh, we're gonna come back uh, tomorrow for another video, but we just wanted to make a quick stop to check it out. This place right here is the prime location for photos. As you can see, there's a lot of people taking pictures over there. The tip that I can give you is to not forget your gum, and hopefully, you don't consider this super gross. We're gonna get some dessert. We've been saving ourselves for getting some coffee and some pastries. Chon chon chon! This is the place. Pierogi, pierogi. This is the place to come if you want to try some Russian pastries. We've been smelling it a lot as we pass through this road. It smells so amazing. We're gonna try it out. Almost there, you guys. I can see it now. We got the goods, guys. Like I said, we're gonna get coffee. And you guys are gonna think that we're basic, but we don't care. We're gonna go to a Starbucks, but it's not your ordinary Starbucks. This is actually the first ever Starbucks created. And check out the line. I don't think you would know that this is the first Starbucks if it wasn't for the line. This line is getting out of hand. It's like a ride at Disneyland or something. Check it out. Here it is guys, going into the first ever Starbucks. It's not often you can say that you had a Starbucks in the first Starbucks. 
That was really cool guys. Right now we're heading to a park to enjoy the goods. We're about to enjoy our bread and our coffee. I don't know if there's a, a better way to end the video than right here overlooking the waterfront and enjoying our dessert. If you haven't seen the last video, we went to the waterfront and we went on that thing. It was a really cool experience, you guys. I'll leave it in the description for you guys to check out. I really enjoy bringing you guys along with us. Hopefully you guys think the same. And if you do, make sure you show your support by liking the video and subscribing to my channel if you wanna see more videos just like this one. Anyways, you guys, just to remind you to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.